Thank you. What, a, what an honor to be here. Though I have to say, as my biography goes on and on, uh, it, it just sort of makes me laugh. And, and I say, well, you know, lead a quiet life. Join the convent. It's my recommendation. <laughs> Such surprising things. What an honor to be invited to give the Jonathan Daniels Lecture. And I have to say, that in preparing for this moment, I realized that his witness and his death in Alabama touched me as a young person in California. And part of the reason that I joined my religious community was in response to that faith witness, that his generosity and instantaneous response out of a gospel base fueled in me the fact that Jesus and justice both begin with J and both require action. It's made me who I am and shaped this rather surprising life. But it wasn't until preparing for this lecture that I had his name to attach to it. And uh, so it's a, a double joy, like a recognition, to have these two come together. His witness stirred in me a sense of urgency in reading the signs of the times, of knowing what was happening in our nation and where we were being called to make a difference. And so I want to take a little time to read the signs of the times for now, and talk about how do we walk towards justice in this moment. Because the signs of the times that I see are signs of a great deal of individualism, a great perspective on fear of me and mine and separation. And what we've learned on the bus is traveling around the country on a bus. Who would, who would ever think that would be a, a thing? But what we've discovered is it's because Catholic sisters travel on the bus, or any sisters. Where are my sisters? We have my sisters here. There we are. All right. My any sisters create community, and we traveled with community on the bus, so wherever we stopped, it was like instantaneously welcoming everyone in. And what we found out is how hungry 